the conservation meeting for Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023 at 6.30. And the McDonald Brown Conference Room is now open. And I entertain a motion to approve the minutes uh, for April 18th. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And new public hearing for Lincoln Street. I'll read that in. Under the Wetlands Protection Act, Chapter 131, Section 40, MGL, as amended, the West Bridgewater Wetlands Protection Bylaw and Rules and Regulations and the West Bridgewater Comprehensive Stormwater Management Regulations, the Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on May, 20, May 2nd, 2023 at 6.30 in the, in the McDonald Brown Conference Room, 65 North Main Street, on a notice of intent on Lincoln Street for sidewalk installation and water line extension. Okay, I'm all set for that. And if we wait one second, Stephanie is joining us now. Okay. <laughs> there she is. <clears throat> and others. Stephanie, we opened the hearing. And you're first up <laughs> on the agenda. I have shared my screen. Um, so I can't see your screen, but I'm sure everyone can. And then if anything, I can um, also get some, if it's easier for me to share to show exactly what I'm talking about, I can do that too. But I'll just give an overall introduction. Um, my name is Stephanie McDonald. I'm with McMahon and Bowman Company. Um, here on behalf of the Bartolo Development that is um, doing this project on behalf of the town of West Bridgewater. Uh, the project involves a um, sidewalk extension, um, just about a half a mile down Lincoln Street. And um, with that, we are proposing a water line extension that will run below it. Um, with a little bit of curbing added and a couple of drainage improvements, which include two catch basins, two trench drains, and um, a head wall replacement. Um, so I will just go over, uh, we are within um, an area of environmental, critical, uh, area of critical environmental concern. Um, the whole project is located in that. Um, we are also in a um, national heritage um, endangered species area. So that um, review is concurrently going on um, with MISA. Um, the adjacent development had noted that the Blanding Turtle um, was there. Our project is mostly within the right of way and is in um, limited areas um, that have our mode and um, so we're hoping that there's nothing crazy with that. Um, also, uh, there are there were five wetlands delineated um, alongside both areas of link uh, both sides of Lincoln Street. So um, the impacts were unavoidable in order to fulfill the project purpose and need, which is to improve pedestrian safety along. Um, Lincoln Street and also provide some connectivity um, from the previous project uh, that the town part took in. So um, with that said, the wetlands, um, we are disturbing um, uh, about 1,600 square feet of wetlands. Um, we decided on the location uh, on the east side of Lincoln Street as that has most, uh, or has minimal disturbances. Um, we looked at other options, um, including the west side, um, essentially both sides, or, or doing nothing, but um, ultimately the least impacts were on that east side. Well, nothing would be the most. Right, but um, right, so if we did nothing, we wouldn't um, meet the project's purpose, which is to provide connectivity and pedestrian safety down Lincoln Street. Um, so uh, we are we are proposing um, to I'm trying to get the overview impacts. so that you can 
um, at a, a town property um, just a little bit off the street. So these wetlands, um, the wetlands alongside the road are all kind of, um, it's a low, lower quality wetland as they are ditches um, essentially along the roadside, just capturing that. So, um, you know, everything is going into that. So there's an enhanced and healthier already growing wetland um, located again off town property, um, just beyond or just off Lincoln Street um, that we, we um, our wetland scientist and um, Tim Hay conservation agent went out on site to meet out there, um, went over some of the conditions. And again, it has more of a quality storage area so we feel that the wetland replication um, impacts are being mitigated. Um, it's one-on-one -on -one and is um, essentially an enhanced and healthier option. Um, we are proposing erosion and sediment controls, um, downside gradients, and just to help minimize, um, you know, um, prevent pollutants from moving and adversely impacting the wetlands. So we'll have um, silt sacks, stormwater inlet protections within those catch basins proposed and um, downstream areas will have some compost filter tubes. Um, let's see. And I think, um, yeah, for the most part, um, so drainage, um, has been, drainage patterns have maintained um, pretty much the same um, as, as existing conditions. There is that increase of um, our five foot sidewalk. Um, with, there are, um, what we've done is basically, again, by maintaining those flow patterns, um, there's a lot of green space between the ultimate discharge points um, or design points that the water, you know, storm water, uh, water is currently going. Um, so those are matched. So we see feel the impacts are very minimal. Um, again, given the amount of, um, I guess, pervious area it can, it can travel over, and the fact that we are the 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 flows are basically going to the same spots. Um, we are asking, um, I guess, for the town, a variance request to permit the wetland disturbances, um, you know, within the, the <coughs> wetland water zone and for the bordering vegetative wetland. Um, again, the project need increases pedestrian safety and connecti uh, connectivity. Um, impacts have been mitigated from the wetlands. Um, and like I explained, we've chosen the least amount of impacts possible while providing um, the sidewalk and water line extensions. So are there any questions? Um, uh, yes. Uh, we have to do the board. Yeah, Sorry. commission mm -hmm. have questions first. The replication plan, is it's one to one. Is there enough to do two to one? Um, yeah, so we, we try to do an area with, um, I guess, least impacts and grading. So that's why we were able to do one-to-one. -one. There is, um, there is plenty of area, um, in that to do more, um, just require a little bit more, I guess, um, I guess disturbance to that existing buffer, but it's not out of the question. Would, the would, that. would that disturbance be worse for the? Um, it could go either way. I mean, it, it's an area that works really well. They don't have to do any more excavating than's already there. So yes. basically they just planting an enhancement in an area that's already at the level they need to be. It's not yeah. buildable in that area. Right. But, There's, it's, a, is, it's a buffer zone to a wetland area. Right. That's, but it's not technically a wetland, wetland area. Wetland, right. Yeah. And it's, they're enhanced. And that's what's confusing to people. Wetland and wetlands. Yes. That, that's, people oh, get very would you, confused. Could you explain that better? So where the wetland line was, this is an area that's bordering it that is pretty much very similar elevation but doesn't have any wetland plants in it, doesn't have any indicators. The soils came up minimal. I mean, it could go either way. 
So that's why this is watering vegetative wetland. And that's the perfect place to do a replication because it's very similar soils. The plant mix that they're looking to use, it's already in the area already. So it's not like you're introducing something that's not already there. I don't know, what do you guys think about doing a little bit more of replication? Or? If, sure. Well, I'll take two to one if they, we I can mean, do it. That's something you want. I mean, two to one or one to one and a half? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's more than. It, it can be done. I mean, it, there's enough area there. But, yeah, I wouldn't want to get into a long, you know, drawn out. So I don't know what you guys yeah. think. But the, if you're looking at the plans, mm -hmm. this replication area is kind of in the, is it in the back off of somebody's? That's our town land it's that we're going to do for the, the parcel park. that they're looking at is the Link uh, Russo's uh, okay. site. Mm. It's way in the back left. It. It's in the, yeah, okay. the far back side. Which, All right. Sorry. It's really an area that wouldn't be used for any future development anyways. Just in enhances section. it, yeah. Yeah. That's something you guys look right. interested in doing. I think one to one and a half is one and a half to one. So I would suggest maybe one, one and a half for the replication plan. So it could be at 2,400 feet. Yep. Yeah. And the turtle that was mentioned? It's is, a crossing, is it? It's a... In the what? The turtle that was mentioned, how is that being addressed, Stephanie? So we have an ongoing review with okay. um, Nisa um, for. So I just mentioned that if that was that was prevalent enough uh, to study for the um, development, the big development across the street. Yeah. So we're just going off of potentially, you know, I'm just thinking ahead that um, that could have just triggered this area. However, our area is when within a right of way. Um, predominantly and any areas that are vegetated have, well, most of them have been mowed. So the likeliness is not um, that okay. that the animal would be <clears throat> living there, but I, we have yet to hear from them. Um, so for that, I just ask, I guess that that would be conditioned that any, you know, parameters or um, if any constraints, I guess, just would just be conditioned um, if, if anything comes back from that MISA review. Okay. And again, what they'll probably do is require either the silt sock and erosion control fencing or something to just slow the migration if if they were to come into the area. Yeah. So is it, this is this is this the same turtle that's across? Yes. Yeah. Or behind the mobile station? Yep. Okay. So one one to one and a half wouldn't wouldn't be a problem, Stephanie, right? No. Okay. So. <clears throat> Anybody in the audience have questions? Yes, yes. Uh, sorry if I um, misunderstood anything, every, anything, because uh, I got the hearing aids, but I'm still uh, hard hearing. Um, so when I go on to Lincoln Street from 106, our, our house is on the left or the side where all the construction for Amazon is. Is that the side of the, the sidewalks going in? The, the sidewalk will be on the east side. I heard that. Right, like, which which is, is the side that Russo's side. greenhouse was opposite on. Opposite side. I, we so just moved the to the area. So we'll be on the side where that opposite opposite side opposite of the, opposite the side where most side. houses are. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They don't care about the houses. They care about the, the turtles. Yeah. You know, I, I don't. I don't see any reason for this sidewalk. I live on that street. Four people walk down there all year, and that's and I'm one of them when my truck's in the shop. Now I'm thinking too so if imminent domain, this 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 type of thing is reserved for necessary stuff. When the sidewalk's not really necessary. So when the the fields get done, eventually, would there be talk about putting sidewalks in then? You think? Well, this actually all came about as part of the, the deal, yeah. permitting that happened for the project. Yeah. The developer is paying for it, not the town. This was part of the deal that was struck with the town and the developer was to put the sidewalks in. Um, it is in the town layout already. There's very minimal, if any, which I'm not even sure, is there any land taking for the sidewalk, Stephanie, or is it all within the town layout? It's all within the town layout. Um, what is that, six feet? There are some water line um, extension, just, uh, um, what they uh, just laterals and one hydrant. Um, 
that would go out outside of the right way. Okay, so basically the town could have done this anyways. We're just getting the developer to pay to have the sidewalk put in. And that's and, and technically this is all part of the entire town thing of like increasing the sidewalks. Right, the safe streets program that the town started the town. entering. And that's what, and I'm thinking like later on in the future, if this wasn't to get done anyways, the town would be paying for it probably to do it because of the the fields school season. fields. Because yeah. it'd be have to I mean, be. We'll get something done down there. Just so, I mean, either way, I'm sure it would be done. Mm. So, isn't the town paying for half of it by tax abatements anyway? Mm. Well, don't, no. no. Yeah. That I don't know about. That'd yeah. be a, it's it's part, part of the whole. Uh, yeah. 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 That's, that's what I heard anyway. Yeah. There was $500,000 kickback on abatement for the next five years for the developer. So, I mean, mm -hmm. the town is paying for half of it. Well, the abatement is... I mean, you don't have to take any money mainly, out of your pocket. Mainly for the lights. No, well, I, because I got no we, problem with the lights. Well, I got some, a problem with... Someone I, had I to have pay for it. feet from my bottom, my front step to the road, and now you're going to take five of them. I didn't move into the city where I step off my stoop and onto the curb. Well, that five feet that you think they're taking is not actually yours. It's owned by the town. Because I think it's like I understand. Yeah. I understand. I, understand I know your, your house. I, is I, I understand your fifty foot right of way, where it gives you twelve and a half on either side. But like I said, I mean, nobody walks on that street. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I, I, don't, I don't get it. Yeah. Where, where are they walking to? Where are they walking from? There's nowhere to walk to on that street. Any scenic view is now gone because the Alcatraz Food Factory over there. <laughs> like seriously, there, like there's no. There's no reason to put that there, especially yeah. the sacrifice of everybody on the street having to lose. We're looking for the future. Section. But We're I think I think the the fields are, will, no matter what, the, they're going to be put there because of the fields, and that's the I, town's I, already bought Again, I, I, don't, I mean, I'm not trying to be argumentative, yeah. but I don't see anybody walking to those fields. Yeah, they're not going to park up on 106 and walk to the field. Yeah. Why would they? Well, are they going to park at the dump and walk around down, you know? And if that's the case, then you should probably redo South Elm. Because there's more walking doing going on on South Elm, and those sidewalks oh, are trash. Eventually, mm. it's in, uh, that's all well, in the plans. I mean, take that free work and have them do that. Well, is all well, I'm saying. I mean, this Without is disturbing bitter, everybody on the street bitter. for no reason. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, it, listen, it's you've already turned the whole it. street, and it, it's already been yeah. not you, but it's already been turned into hell. Yeah. Period. I mean, eighteen wheelers rolling up and down the street all day and night. Like, who who bought their house wanting to deal with that? Every fifteen minutes. Unfortunately, I mean, seriously, I got yeah, a, I got a grand boy that lives at the house yeah, now, yeah. and you can't even play in the front yard because I'm going to have air brakes banging off yeah. and, and downshifting. It's just ridiculous. And now, that's not going to feel con confined enough that now you're going to put the right of way five feet closer to my front door. It's just, it's just it's foolishness. It really is. I mean, that's all I can say because mm -hmm. there's no need for it right now, and there is no field down there yet. Yeah. And and and. I mean, we're all going to be driving jets and buggies one day. Are we making preparations for that now? No, because it's just, it, 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 it's unnecessary. Unfortunately, it's hard to tell, you know, somebody, they got property, you know. Yeah. They want to sell it, they can sell it for whatever they want to use it for, and it's just got to be able to. No, I, I, listen, that's, I know, that's I the only that. thing that's kind of stinks. I mean, you're, you're, on the, been, you're on the record. I mean, yeah. my, my so. wish list would have been anything but. You know, a, a warehouse. So I, but that's fine. Right. I, that's not your fault. You can't control what somebody does there. But like yeah. I said, I mean, to now compound it with this project, like everybody down on that street's not dealing with enough as it is. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, it is throw this in there. being paid for the. And it's all part of the whole deal. And ultimately, right now, it's safer for the four people that walk up and down the street. You know, because there will be trucks going up and down the street. You know. As they're shipping and receiving, and, and the cars from Amazon, that's how they get around. Monday is, Ship yeah, that's another it's story. It's a mess down there. But again, we're here to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, other than that, does anybody else have any questions? <laughs> okay, go ahead. I do. Yep. Uh, it's, a, it's a situation with the letter that we got. Uh, we, Marilyn and Dave Raleigh, West Bridgewater, West Center Street, the butters. The letter came, regular mail. Usually a better abundance mail comes certified. Uh, I, in fact, I talked to Mr. Hay here, and he was helpful. And uh, in reading the letter, I wondered who uh, Mr. Small, without representing the town, was the letter that I received from. Okay, 
Not only that, the telephone number that was on this was your number, and it was non-existent. So I have a real problem. I know with this future of this so-called development that they're trying, <coughs> there'll be a lot of about us letters that we receive. And I certainly hope that they're not sent regular mail. And if there's any telephone numbers to be on there, they're the proper telephone numbers to be put on. Hmm. Totally. Uh, yeah. Totally, I mean, totally agree. I have a question. Uh, when did they switch the <coughs> sidewalk onto the, uh, away from the uh, uh, warehouse? The 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 uh, plans were that the uh, sidewalk was going to be on the looking down Lincoln Street on the right hand side. So I think Stephanie mentioned that that after assessing the water and the wetlands, and with Tim, that the least disturbance to the wetlands would happen if they switched it to the east oh, side. I, I didn't. It's okay. Yeah, yeah no, it's fine. Yeah. And then, so that's the left, that would be the left side if you're looking down from your house down Lincoln Street. Yeah, and you'd have to move every single telephone pole because most of them are within three to four feet of the road. I'm sure exactly. that's all. That's, that's all cost effective. Well, that's all. Mm -hmm. That's all on them. That's, that's all on them and they, they figured that out. It's all on them, yeah. <laughs> we, we're not, get, not getting anything out of it anyway. No. Another thing I'd like to just say, too, as far as the committees are concerned and the town is concerned, I think you all realize that the townspeople are very upset not knowing what is going in. The way we found out was that the, it was about to start was we were coming through Elm Square and saw the sign. We had no knowledge from any town department, police or whatever, that anything was going to start up our, our way. Okay, you all know where we are. We're in the middle of this mess. Mm -hmm. We can't even get out of our driveway now, okay? Uh, you know, and, and, and I know they're going to, thanks to the TIF that they gave, they're going to put in another light on there, okay, and make those streets perpendicular. I understand. But uh, I just, we, people are looking for information on what's going in there before you people vote on things. I don't think... No, I'm not being critical, but I don't think you really know. Mm. Well, well, before we, we this do. happened, we do. Well, right. everything's on. Everything's been on the cable channel, so I mean, <coughs> it's been <coughs> documented. You know, it's if you can be, find it, it's yeah. channel nine. Yeah, I know. But I just, I mean, I have heard. I read Facebook, and that's the only place I'm getting any knowledge. Is on Facebook, and there has been talk about a refrigerated warehouse. There's been talk about an Amazon warehouse. I don't know how, as a committee, that you can give permits, not only you people, but any of the town departments, not knowing what their plans are. Is it, is it just a, uh, what do they call it, just for, for uh, just to, un to see if they can get somebody? Amazon isn't going well now anyway. Oh. So, you, you know, I just feel that you're making decisions not really knowing what's going to happen. Remember, we're conservation. I don't believe me, I understand yeah, that, but the understand this that. is this the tip of the iceberg. There's going to be but others. I, I will say, part of the other process, as far as zoning and planning, this was permitted for general warehouse use. Yeah. So that limits what they can do inside it. If they're going to apply to do a refrigeration, I believe that would be a change of use, and they would have to go before zoning to get a, or planning to get a review and a new permit. Right. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's just general storage, merchandise, Type items, nothing that's hazardous material, nothing that's got chemicals, nothing that would be If that were decided, would that be decided at a special town meeting the way the original zoning change would be? No. That would, probably that would be just within the committee? Yep. Within the. But it would be posted. Depending on which one it be zoning or planning, depending on the use. Okay. Anybody else? 124 Lincoln Street. There is a pipe from where they're building that goes under the street, goes under my house, and goes all the way out to the back. I brought this up at a meeting earlier, and I never got, somebody said, oh, okay, and nobody's done anything. I see that they've pushed all the dirt up towards it, but it's still there. Uh, I want to know what's going to be done with that before you go anywhere. So is it, it's draining? 
it's draining, but there's a hole in it, and I've said that to um, people in the town, and I haven't gotten anywhere. It's broken in my backyard, so the water just flows. And which side is it on? The sidewalk side. Yeah, it would be the sidewalk side. Okay. And there's also two very big trees that are there, and those going to be gone. That might need to be addressed. <clears throat> to I'll follow that. up with Chris tomorrow. We'll talk right. to I know that which. they were looking at it to see if they could use it back at a meeting earlier. Stephanie, do you have anything to add? Yeah, so I think this is the, the you said 124? Yep. Yes. So, and I'm, I'm sorry, um, it's a little hard to hear, but um, if you, I can just repeat. So you have a discharge point that's going into your um, backyard. It, yes, it comes from where you're building, goes under the yep. street. I don't know exactly where, and then it goes under the house, and then it goes out to uh, where the wetlands are, I guess. Beyond your house to the yeah, east. To the end of my property, you know, out back. Okay. Um, I believe we were trying to find that outlet, um, and it's right by. We it's weren't... to the left of the mailbox. You can. It's right by the mailbox to the left. Um, so, Tim, if you can bring up what page on that? Yeah. So it's page the construction seven, sheet seven. seven. Yeah, sheet seven. Because it looks like Mr. McMahon. Is that correct? Yes. It looks like from on sheet seven here that those two trees are re being removed. I think those are the two trees that we're talking about. Okay. Yes. If Tim zooms in a little bit. And I don't know if that's the outlet that's there, oh, Stephanie, that you're talking about. It's across about. the street is the inlet. Is the inlet. So that, do you see that? <laughs> yeah, we, we did look at that. And we couldn't where it went from there. <laughs> right. But, so I guess what we're trying to do is alleviate so some of the strong. water and ponding to go into that area. But I guess I'm just concerned is that is the where we're showing our the opposite side of where the catch basin is um, what you're talking about, or is there another um, outlet that you have observed. What we're hearing, Stephanie, is that from where your proposed catch basin is, there's a drainage line that goes to the east directly under the house? Uh, I, yeah. He believes then, it goes directly under the house. <laughs> okay. And is broken. And yeah, if you, if you go out back, How long is that you'll open? see where there was a how long has the house been there? 52, 52 built it over it? Well, that's what I couldn't, you know, I, I don't know. It, it was a big to-do when I bought the house. Hmm. I'll do some digging tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I can't just <laughs> yeah. let that guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If there's a drainage easement, um, so we've got to find that, and if there isn't, we've got to figure out where that line's going. And I can tell you, I need to put it there. <laughs> I got a question for you. If you're going to put a sidewalk in on the east side, which is standing <coughs> on the east side, is there going to be like a curb, like elevated? Is it going to be like an elevated sidewalk? Because the turtles cross from the wetlands right there and go to Stanley's Pond all the time. And they're already getting squished by the trucks going up and down the street. So that's what they're researching, right? And whoever is building out in the field, they put a sign up. It says environmentally sensitive area, no work beyond this fence. If you look on the other side of the fence, they ripped it all up for about a hundred. That feet. actually, the fence is getting moved um, because their permit goes right up to the twenty-four Ed, road layout. Right up to the edge of the and line. So where yeah. it does say disturbed that silt fence will eventually, the turtle fence will be moved back all the way to the edge. Um, There's only a narrow strip now between my neighbor's house and where that fence is now, where it's all ripped up, that 
they're, st they're crossing the road right now to go to the other side. So my question is, if you're going to put a curb, how are they going to get up over the curb? Because they're all going to the ponds. Stanley's got the two man-made ponds yep. back there, and that's where they're going. They've been doing it for years. And I don't know if anybody took any of that into consideration. I spoke up at several of the town meetings about that. And now we're seeing them getting flattened by the 18-wheelers going up and down the street every 15 minutes. So. So there's there's no curb proposed um, up if we're talking about that around that 124. It's only at the very um, end, the south end. Um, and this area, yes. Yeah, so there's the sidewalk construction is actually very in in depth. There are um, we tried to, like I said, maintain existing. Um, drainage, you know, patterns, and um, where we can, we're having the sidewalk flow, or I guess, um, grade towards the road, but there are some areas um, that are grading towards the, um, I guess, the residences. Um, so if you look very closely on the plans, there's a shading, and it kind of shows you um, the changes in the sidewalk. Um, slope so it's they're all graded at a one and a half percent and then some are away from the street and some are towards the street so in terms of the turtles if it's found and we have reports here that it is a turtle crossing um what are the rules against putting in a sidewalk given that they are not being protected with the sidewalk being put in so we're gonna leave that, leave that up to the MISA. Um, we filed an application with them concurrently. And um, like I said, so the disturbances are within the right of way, uh, which is like a roadway designated area, not to say that turtles can't cross and that's what we're waiting for them. Um, if there are certain circumstances, whereas we cannot do construction during specific times of you know, known turtle crossings, then that would be conditioned into our construction and construction wouldn't happen there. Or similar to the other side, if there are specific barriers that need to be put up in order to help, like when we're doing areas of that construction to help keep the turtles out, then that will be implemented. Um, well, we we, have, we're obviously, you know, open to that and only the <clears throat> MISA people will, will decide and we will we'll follow through if, if there is concern. Well, if we have reports that it's happening now, why do we wait for the MESA people? Um, it's a regulation state state law, and those are the people in charge of making the decisions. So if, if I mean, they can the, cross, it's how they make an, an entrance for them to cross. Cross, cross safely through. And right. they may get, I mean, not that they're hoping this process takes a year, but turtle migration season, they may not be allowed to do the construction. That's right. one to in, that particular in that particular area. area. Yeah. But that's something we have to wait for the state to come back with their report. Then they'll make accommodations so they can cross. But it's happening now. Right, right. No, and there's no construction. there, yeah. So there's nothing we can, I mean, drive. <coughs> as far as this permitting for the sidewalk, there is no construction. The turtle barriers are up already for the construction site on 21 Lincoln Street. Right. And they've already met the requirements that the state set for that. I mean, they've been crossing the road forever. Right. That's. So. Yeah, it's unfortunate they get run over. I mean, uh, that... and, if and I'm not sure which turtles are crossing. Which... Mostly. Ready and sliders and spars. Okay. So it's not the blandings one that is on the, the list that the state's yeah. looking to regulate. Yeah. That's part of the, the process. Yeah. Oh, the state doesn't care about these other ones? They're not rare, I don't think, yeah. right? Isn't that it? We, we could still look at options as the process goes through. Sure. Perhaps I you state will. So 102 Lincoln Street, if, um, so from the, the width of my property, probably half of it 
dips down, I mean, are they, is there going to be some type of, type of retaining wall to hold the yes. sidewalk up? Yeah. I saw that on the plan. One, two. I believe that's sheet six. Yeah, yeah I, I read it today. So later on. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to look for the section and let you know that's about station 191. Yeah. So. Sheets. Um, so if we go to about, um, yep, so, so yeah, so there'll be fill um, proposed under the sidewalk to maintain that um, the elevation of basically meeting the roadway. Um, so where the edge of, of the roadway is, um, we'll have a uh, you know, one and a half percent sidewalk, and then um, kind of this one and a half percent um, buffer area between the roadway, and then we'll slope two to one to meet existing grade. If you'd like to just see kind of what that looks like in the general vicinity, um, it's sheet 33, which is just a roadway cross section. So if you cut the yeah. if you cut the roadway, um, if you sliced it, I don't have those. And the plane's too big. Yeah. And you're looking um, because I tend to drive into my property to get down back, like right along that side. So I'm just curious how I'm gonna hop your retaining wall. Good thing right. I got a lifted pickup truck. Sure, it shouldn't be any more yeah. than the standard. That's all right. Uh, all right. All right. There's no retaining wall, correct? It's um. That's gonna be interesting. Can she share her? Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't see how that's possible, but right. see, see what kind of recipe Tim. you cook up. Tim. Yep. Can she share? Have you allowed stuff? Stephanie, you, you can share your screen if you want. I did allow that. Okay. If you want to bring that up. Yep. So, um, let me just see. That says it's disabled. But let me try again. Oops. So, um, I guess I'm just going to go back to sheet six real quick, and if you can tell me where your driveway is. Um, oops. My driveway is right across. It's closer here. Um, Let's look at the I'm house. Trying to figure out which way we are facing that. Yeah. That's facing. Sorry. So, that's so, facing your way. Like I'd be, I'd be on. Uh, so you're on Lincoln Street, looking at the front of your property. Yeah. Yes. So, so I'm, yeah, so I'm looking off my porch or my. Yeah. Yeah. I guess this looks maybe is your porch. I, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's where the house would be, right where her curse is moving. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so, so your driveway's to the right towards, towards Russo's side. Okay, so his driveway's yeah, okay. so, yeah. It, yeah, it's that wetland little thing they got going on there, or, or whatever that little jet they, jet it they have out there. It's oh yeah, yeah, right yeah. okay, that makes there. sense. Right, that's the driveway. Okay, yeah. yes. So it's a um, okay, so that I'm just gonna look um, to see if we have a section. So our sections are just before it and 190.5. I'm just gonna see if we. Um, yeah, okay, so this is better. So we're just, at, so at station 190, which makes sense, right? Our, our um, this is our erosion control. So our erosion control doesn't go over your driveway so that obviously you can get in and out of it. Um, so I'm just gonna go back to 33 and see where 190 is. Um, so yeah. So if you can see, it looks like we're pretty much matching in um, to where your driveway is. The dash line is the existing grade. Mm -hmm. um, 
I mean, I, I don't know if you guys can see that. If you, I can color it if it, it helps. Hmm. Um, but it, it's just a couple inches. Um, yeah, it looks like there's some sort of lip. Again, this is just a, at one point in time, but um, you can see that this is where the driveway, I guess, slopes down more and we're, we're matching that in. Okay. So um, if we just go back, I'll just show you. Well, like there's, there's a section along my yard on the, on the 106 side that I can see some ribbons from the, um, the guy that was crawling around in the woods there tagging all the wetlands and stuff. That's the side that I'm talking about because right there is a significant dip into my yard. Like I'm talking at least a foot, you know what I mean? So it, there's no way that a sidewalk's going to sit level with the road and into my yard. So I'm curious okay, what's so going to hold that. So you're up. trying to open it with the fire hydrant. Um, where is the fire hydrant? Um, or actually, yeah, the road water main hydrant. double line. It's with that that little jet. jet so that yeah. okay. Yeah. It's at the 191, Stephanie. Yeah. yeah, yeah so we'll look at 191. That side literally. So again, it's down. the roadway. Then then we have um, yeah, the side. Okay, so 191. So let me go back to. At the same time, I want to make everybody wait on just my piece of property. Mm -hmm. I was just curious if there's a wall. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 okay, so this is where you can kind of see better. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna kind of match into the um, existing roadway, and this is where we're bringing in fill. So all this area below will be filled, so we can keep pretty much a level um, extension of the of the roadway, so the sidewalk is level with the roadway. Mm -hmm. And then here we're gonna grade down at a two to one slope. As you can see here, yeah, so I guess this is, there is a little bit of, um, I guess, just a foot of encroachment into your yard to make, make, make the grades match. Mm -hmm. All right, as long as I can drive out of it, it's cool with me. <laughs> is it concrete or asphalt? <clears throat> uh, the sidewalk is going to be HMA. So asphalt. Hot mix asphalt. Anybody else? Yes, <clears throat> please, comment for the record. Uh, my name is Dennis, Suzanne Allen. We live at 195. And um, we just bought the house in August. And we didn't learn about this until uh, this letter was delivered to us about a month ago, a little, a little longer. So yeah, we're definitely not happy that the seller, uh, well, maybe the seller didn't know. Anyway, that's the first we learned about it. So uh, we just certainly don't like it, but uh, we understand the progress uh, is progress. and. Uh, we're going to live to accept it. Uh, but I did want to say that uh, both myself and Suzanne cross that street and go to the field uh, sometimes two or three times a day for the dog. Even though i got a big backyard, it's pretty, pretty moist, you know, with the rain. Uh, so we both cross that, and I know I work from home, and i got a window right up looking out the street uh, in the house, and I know there's a, a woman, uh, elderly woman, who jogs uh, and, you know, dodges cars as she can uh, running on Lincoln. Um, and the last thing I would just like to note for the record that uh, I see no jaking signs. Jaking, that's when the, the trucker Trucks. uses a downshift to slow down. Oh. Transmission brake, yeah. What a loud noise oh, it's that makes. Awful. It's awful. If we can get a no jaking sign uh, on Lincoln Street. They got, they got them on other streets. Yeah. yeah. So, so you should be able to get one. <clears throat> <clears throat> DPW. Yeah, no engine braking. They should be absolutely fine on a right. five hundred dollar fine because they go past our house and my God, you, you think uh, you're flying? Yeah. flying. Yeah, I think that's an, another that's concern another, uh, for us yeah. mm -hmm. just now with more traffic because I didn't know this was going down our street. That people speed trucks are speeding on it's there. A we huge do have issue. Huge. kids that are around there. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and even if you have the sidewalk, that's in for some of them. But it's incredible. The 30 mile an hour speed limit is not. It's like you see 60. Where they they We're off subject, but they're going to try the speed bumps. Okay. And see how that temporary. See if that works. I mean, it's a straightaway. It is. Yeah. It is. It's not very long, but it is a straightaway. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people are involved with it and trying to find a solution. And you're right. You know, yeah. they're not doing 30. Right. Mm -hmm. No, just as, especially if we're going to have more traffic, there's enough traffic on there already, and if we're going to oh, start having trucks and other people. Yeah. 
Um, if they're doing it now, maybe you should just contact the, just the police department, just to let them know and. Oh, they know because they stopped somebody before I came to this meeting. They had stopped somebody. Okay, so if they street. get down there, they can keep that. People will start noticing that there's going to be police take a notice of the I think speed limit. I've read where they're down there as much as they can, and they're mm -hmm. issuing citations. But right. Yeah. You know, it's just yeah, it's crazy the way people. It fly, is. They <coughs> they I went up there the other day and did thirty, and a little bit below. And no one was to no. No, no, and even to try to cross the street with the dog, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah it, well, you're right. Yeah. 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 Right. So but uh, I think everyone's well aware of it. And Any more questions? Uh, well, just, no, not a question, but a statement about the turtles. Uh, I would be yeah. uh, seriously hurt if I saw a squished turtle on the street. I hope, and I'm glad that the developer has taken that into consideration. I hope their migration pattern is not going to, you know, they have some way to cross if they need to cross. That's all I have. Have followed the signs. Yeah, there we go. They you can use the drainage pipe. The yeah. 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 Well, there you go. They make fun. They're not crossing the sign where the signs are. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So anything else? No. Oh. Well, we do need a DEP. Definitely. We're going to need to continue anyways for the DEP we have a hearing in for DEP to issue a a number. I believe we haven't okay. received either one. And that's something that can just be um, a um, conditioned? Uh, the DEP file number, we have to, we can't close the hearing until we get that. So. Um, Not a conditioned, I don't think we can, can we? Right, it can't be, it can't be no, a closed hearing with a conditioned no. right. wait for it. We have to wait until we get it. Right. Um, okay. Which hopefully by our next meeting we'll have that <laughs> DEP number. Okay, so I do know DEP didn't recognize receiving it until April thirtieth. So oh, yeah. hasn't hasn't been enough days for them to process it probably okay. is my okay. guess. So just continue. Just or we can't I really vote on it. Recommend to the sixteenth. Okay, so we'll mo uh, entertain a motion to continue to the 16th. I'll make the motion. Second. I'm, second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And for everybody Aye. in the audience, just you know, keep watching TV or just keep coming to, come to the meetings. I mean, you're more than welcome to come. And just uh, if you're not too sure what's going yeah, I on. I think just to Maryland's coming. point, that, you know, the whole town's curious when areas get developed, what's going on there. I don't know. I mean, we don't even know some. We know if it's within the law, but how do you get it out, though? Yeah, yeah. But Facebook seems to be the place where things go, okay? Unfortunately. Not everyone's on Facebook. No, you know. that's very true. Harry is, I know. But I'm sorry? You Harry's think, on you Facebook. You think this Amazon thing for me. From me, yeah, I just assume that any they're the only company that needs that big of a building. Oh, you'd be so. surprised. Well, they could carve it up too, you know. Well, it doesn't they, have to be one like. from Scott Street, so. Yeah. But, okay, so we'll just see you on the 16th. See you on the 16th. Thank you. Thank you. Can I just ask yep. is, um, yeah. is the one to one and a half something you'd like to see? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I, yes. I think they're going to plan on that and we can. Um, Discuss that tomorrow if you'd like. Okay, that'd be great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Stephanie. Thank you. Everybody signed in, huh? So, um, Tim, your meeting's over, right? Yes, no, this no, part no. of the hearing. Well, that, that part is. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Tim, you're an agent of what? Veterans agent? No, no, I'm the conservation agent. Oh, that makes sense. So I'm, okay. Well, thank you for your hard work. You're welcome. You. You're welcome to come anytime, too. Thank you, sir. See what's going on. I may, I may. Uh, apparently, my wife's going to dress me next time before I come. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Well, there are other meetings that go on as well planning board and uh, selectmen, and they're all open. So. You can also yeah. get them online. Yep. And online. Yeah. Yeah, we've been here less than a year. So and town to meeting is Monday, don't forget. Yes, on the board. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so the next one is a continued public hearing for 44 South Main Street.
Um, and if there's anybody here, which I don't think there is, um, they've asked to, to continue to 6 6. Um, the 53G review has just started, okay. and they're still waiting for a bunch of state agencies and FEMA and everybody else to weigh in. Right. Okay. okay, so I'll entertain a motion to continue the, to the 6th. So move. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So then. Next one is. And I apologize River Street. that it's taken this long. <laughs> River Street for the Eagle Scout Project, Pratt's Landing. It's all up to you. Right in the corner would be, I guess, be fine. Can <laughs> yep. you see it, Tim? Yeah. Yep, we're good. Yep. So I'm Henry Lone Baker. Dying. <laughs> there you go. I'm Henry Lone Baker. I'm a current Life Scout of Troop 25, West Bridgewater. And I'm proposing to build a fire pit at the landing where there is currently a uh, like the kayak and canoe launch. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so my plan is to build a nine foot by nine foot area and have a stone outer perimeter surrounding a four and a half foot diameter fire pit. Mm -hmm. Where do you? Are you planning on putting it? Oh, so I have the location. Thank you. We'll share it. Right. Thanks. So I'll leave there. So this is. Where's my house? I am. Yeah. I'm open to yeah. moving it if necessary. Okay. Wait a minute. Where's the um, Where's the barn? The barn will be over here. Yep. Because this is the road. And the water's um, here, the river's here. So your house is here, and the barn that they just built I is here. My house is right next to where you're planning to oh. build, so that's why I'm... So this, the public could come in, or there has to be permitted? No, nope, the public could come in. And do a, have a fire any time? Yeah. Okay. And um, so, how big is it? Um, four so and a half feet? The fire pit itself is four and a half foot in diameter. But the stone outer octagon is nine foot by nine foot. Okay. okay. This is kind of close to my barn. How are you not going to not burn my barn down? Um, so the fire pit is in the center of the whole area. So it, it's going to be... Um, for, it's... Yeah, so the fire pit will be in the center mm. there. So there will be a buffer zone between the outside of the nine by nine foot area and the four and a half foot fire pit. Carol, there'll be a so bucket like there too to get the water out there. Two and a, two and a quarter yes. feet between the edge of the fire <laughs> very pit. very big, the wind blows a lot. You got a bucket there for the, there's plenty of water there. Put metal on the side of your house. <laughs> Aluminum siding. If I may, <laughs> throw a suggestion. Conservation <laughs> agent. Because uh, yeah. the town does also own the field that's right beside the parking area. Mm -hmm. That goes up to the forest street okay if to address your concern you were to put this say right here mm -hmm. as a possibility because we also have intention of putting in a um, pavilion with a picnic table underneath it at some point that would probably be in this part of that field area um, just thinking if if that would work it would also be easier to get materials to instead of having to get all the way out here possibly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If that might work. One question with that. Are there trees there currently or is that um there is a little there tree line little here, but there is an opening through it. Okay. And we could and you can gain access into the field if you needed to drive into it okay. to get in there to do anything. We can open that up. This is Carol here. Where, yeah. What is your timeline? Um so I um, Maybe that's part of your presentation, so I'm sorry if I uh, jumped ahead. No, I'm planning to fundraise once I get approval from okay. everything that I need. And then I would like to start building June 9th and have it completed by the 18th. Okay. okay. Of June. Of June. Because if, if he was to move it to <clears throat> into that field, I think that that kind of needs to be sort of like laid out with the entire plan there like whether that's open space and 
getting them about, like as to what exactly is happening there. I would hate to have him like go and fundraise and build something in that space over there, and then all of a sudden the pavilion's like, well, that's right in the middle of where we were going to put the, you know. Well, the, the pavilion is conceptual. We haven't really decided. Sure. Right. Where the, right. But that's why I, I was just suggesting that area may work as an alternate location to put the fire pit if. But eventually, that's going to be. Was, should be all cleaned up, that area, anyways, and that's all going to be used right, that, right. in the future. So. Is that Nick in that? I mean, I think yeah, it's yeah, a good right. idea. So maybe it's a matter of like just sitting and kind of talking with Nick a little bit in the open space group and just kind of. And getting a little in. bit of a layout so he just you know kind of say hey if you put this in this area right. you know that will kind of work with the rest of the concept because you know okay. if are we you know right now we have that little spot in that tree bankment alongside of the parking in the, the boathouse that we put there or whatever you want to call it is that the entrance into the rest of that space or are we going to actually open up another space on river street into that you know like just kind of think that through a little bit so I don't know Timing actually works well for you because open space meets on the 11th and I will be going to that meeting. I can take this on the 11th. You're welcome to come. It's a public meeting. Um, I can get in touch with the chairperson and they meet from 7 to 8. And, and I'm sure still they can have time here. Right. And Carol, you'd rather have it on the other side, right? Okay. Still have time on the timeline. To right, right. Down. Well, that's why yeah. they, they meet next week. So yeah. it, Good. it's not like they meet the third or fourth Thursday and then, of the and month. Then, then, then you, you can come, come back here on the... Get their input, and we could have... I mean, conceptually, we're okay with it. Sure. It's just a oh, matter yeah. of finding the location. I just would hate to have them go through all this problem and then have Open everybody screen. else be like, what the heck? Uh, right. 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 Yeah. Like, oh, the pinpoint, be able to find the pinpoint spot. To put yeah. it in more yeah. for everybody. Well, don't they have to say something open space even if it were here? No? No, because that's, well, it, not really. It's actually under our conservation jurisdiction. So you can decide unilaterally what you want to do with it. It's a courtesy I that think you're asking open space. I think it's oh, good okay. to work together with them. Yeah. Yeah. Right, because they maintain a lot of the yeah. park lands and spaces. So, so yeah, yeah I, think, I think conceptually from our point, yes. And I think we would, I mean, obviously we have to vote on it. I'm wondering if your funding couldn't come from open space for that. I mean, we've got, well, there's like, money there. There's right, money but I there, think part so of you the Eagle Scout project it. Yeah. is fundraising. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, outside of, right. but that's sort of fundraising. Right, but I mean, yeah. as an option, once his fundraising gets right. going and sees where he's at and what he needs and has his budget set, he could fundraise to the open space committee or to us or to a number yeah, of different entities depends to, who the source right. is that's all but right. we're trying to find ways to how to spend money i mean it's it's available so, so it's a I, thought for you i have a yeah. estimated cost there it is i have an estimated cost around 430 dollars okay. for the entire thing yeah okay. with I think it's about a yard of stones and half a yard of sand. Free labor. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Are you going to have benches or anything? Um, so I'm planning to build two benches on either side of the fire pit. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure um, what those to be made of yet. Um, most likely wood. Mm. But, but it, this is your eagle project, right? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Are yeah, there uh, regulations about how far you have to put these benches from the um, fire? I'm not sure about that. Uh, do we know anything about that? No. As long as they can be moved, I would assume. Are they going to be like, how big are they going to be that you figure the benches? Uh, four and a half foot. Oh, so it might not be something easy to But you can. I don't know. I've never heard that asked. Hey. Just People put them, are usually I'm, I'm sure right he, on the fire. I'm sure if you can pick them up and move them. Right, I'm sure it's that basically a minimum to what you are. Distance. Yeah. <laughs> the, only, the only other question would just be the fire permitting. Like, I know, like, obviously to burn in town, there are certain times to have it, and Even. then it's a matter of whether it's... If it's a fire pit. It's a fire pit. It's fire not. Pit, yes, fire yeah. not. It's not. I mean, it, do it, isn't, it doesn't need spark arrest or anything on fire pits? No. I mean, it, it isn't 
option that I know town park to use it for events you do need permitting it's something that we could look at I know some of the other park spots we have if you need an event um, a permits required this you could also have that, that I don't want to dampen the fun but I also don't want to necessarily right I mean, the other fire pit well, I know that's on the other side of the river at Holmes <laughs> Hill is a fairly large fire pit area, and that one we did require um, that they had to give us use and notify the fire department when they were using it, okay. just because of its location and the size. Cause yeah, it's sure. Large yeah, area. I think something like that, that there was just notification. Or I'm sorry, can I ask a question? I'm just trying to understand whereabouts he is talking on River Street. Uh, where the... the where Pratt's Landing is, the canoe and kayak launch across from the Keith House. Oh, okay. okay, perfect. Thank you. I think it's just, um, it's just basically a regular size fire pit. Mm -hmm. So it's just so it's a like standard a standard size. backyard yeah. fire pit. Yeah, size. it's like you can use it all the yeah, time. It, yeah, yeah. Nothing out of the ordinary. So, like, I've been to the fire pit across the, ro across mm -hmm. the river from my house, and it's a disaster in terms of cleanup. Uh, people, they, it's really trashy. Yeah. Are you, is there going to be anything you, where people can put their at the ashes, the trash, any trash, or it just the, the pit? Um, I had not thought about like cleanup. Um, I mean that's more open, like how we regulate our open space deals with it. Yeah. I don't think that's really. I don't think that's necessarily in his scope. Yeah. I, agree. I think that's how we in open space manage the rest of that. I think it's, his is just the building part. I understand that, but it's we are saying it's okay to put it there, mm -hmm. right? right? So our next so. step well, needs to we be, if to we're going to encourage this type of use, then right. we need to come up with a trash receptacle or a cleanup program or something for it. Because like, it, it would be for like wood fire? Yes. Well, I have a metal metal trash can out behind my house that I put my ashes in for the wood. So if something like that could be there, mm -hmm. kind of permanent, and then you could just take it away to the dump uh, on a Saturday or something like that. Right. Where did you get the idea for this project? Um, one of my one of the adults in my troop. Hmm. That's what I do. What yeah. What made you like it? Um, it was simple enough to where it could be completed generally quickly, but also encouraged bonding with the town members. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming yeah. up with this project for yep. to help the town. Appreciate so it. Just go to the open space and just talk with them and yeah. work things out. I think and we got no problem with it. Yeah. That's what you said, the 11th. Yeah. yeah. Yes, they meet the 11th at 7 o'clock. Do you have a fire building badge? Um, not a fire building badge. I have a fireman chit, which you need to build fires and overlook fires in Boy Scouts. Oh, cool. Very cool. Good idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm all for it. Yeah, thanks again. No, it's just administrative. And thank you for your presentation. Good yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. you did really Great well. Job. Nice, mm -hmm. nice drawings and nice plan. Yep. All right. So the next one is the Crescent Street. Crescent View Farms pre-application discussion. Anybody here for that? I just like it. That's us. I guess so. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my name is Bob Forbes from Zenith Consulting Engineers. I'm here with Alan Dernis, the developer, and Claire Hogeboom from LEC Environmental. And I'm just going to introduce the project to you, and then Claire's going to take over because she's the expert <laughs> as far as dealing with you guys. So, what this is, it's, uh, uh, just to get you situated, this is uh, Crescent Street, this is a little offshoot of Crescent called Old Crescent Street. Mm -hmm. And this, the, 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 um, prop, the property is about almost 61 acres. And um, I know Claire was before this 
commission earlier to get the about this time last year yeah to get the line approved so you may it may look familiar it may not but so what i've done is the property is outlined in orange um the wetlands that were approved by your commission were uh, uh, highlighted in green so um the project is a small cul-de-sac here to create frontage for six lots how big are they out of curiosity the um, ones what Bearing sizes. Yeah, whatever the, oh, okay. whatever is required by zoning. Right. There, uh, and this is all, and they are required to be. It looks like thirty thousand. So there are thirty thousand. You get, then you have some that are much larger. Yeah. So okay. it's a it's minimum thirty thousand. Fifty foot right. buffer. Yes, yeah, we that? maintain that all around. So it's hard to see. I should have highlighted it yeah. for you, but we've. This is such a, a large piece of land. It's only that little. Uh, that little area there. So yeah, we're maintaining that everywhere. Now, um, we have six lots here. We have a 4A lot uh, with frontage on the existing road here. And then there are 22 lots back here. Um, and as you can see, you're required to access this back land. There's a, cr uh, a wetlands crossing required. So having said that, I'll turn it over to Claire and all right. You'll, you'll hear someone much smarter than me. <laughs> well, just to sort of uh, continue on from where Bob left off, uh, to gain access to the 22 lots in the rear of the property, we will need to construct a wetland crossing here. We have just a little upland island here as, um, as well. It's about 400 linear feet, at about 50 feet wide at this moment. We have some retaining walls uh, proposed to minimize uh, direct wetland impacts. Uh, this will result in greater than 5,000 square feet of BBW alterations. So under the Wetlands Protection Act, we will be filing notice of intent as a limited project uh, for a wetland crossing to a subdivision. And in addition to that, we have highlighted in blue here an area that we uh, identified reasonable for wetland replication. Um, and that is actually one of the things we'd like some feedback from you all tonight uh, regarding sort of the ratio of replication for the area loss that you would uh, prefer us to propose for this project. Um, and I guess just to sort of put everything back into context, uh, Bob, presented this project a week ago, two weeks ago to the planning board. Yeah, I believe it was a couple weeks ago to the planning board. And got yes. some preliminary feedback from them as well. So we got some input from them on the width of the roadway. I know with the limited projects under the Wetlands Protection Act, that is one of the you know key pieces that we need to get um, approval from, from the planning board on the minimum width that they'd be willing to accept. So we did get input from them. So we're gonna take that in, into consideration and continue to try to minimize and avoid the impacts as much as we possibly can. But uh, with all that, I think uh, it's a good time to pass things along to you all for any questions or comments. Um, again, specifically, we are yeah. interested in the replication ratio, but anything else you want to offer. It looks like the replication is in the wetland. Uh, it sort of does in the well, way And within the 50 foot. It, well, the replication would have to be within the 50 foot because the goal of that is to really attach it to the existing boundary of the wetland itself. Right. And in accordance with the Wetlands Protection Act um, replication guidelines, one of the uh, guidances that they provide is to require the replication to be as close to the area of impact as possible and just be hydrologically connected to the area of impact. So that's where with our impact area being here, having the replication area be close to, I mean, that's as close as we could really get. <laughs> um, so it would ultimately result in permanent impacts to the 50 foot uh, buffer zone. That's just this black line going through it. Um, and this is quite a large area. It's very well beyond one to one. So, you know, we are open to sort of limiting it along the road. I know it's right up to the toe of slope to the road in this particular area. So it might be beneficial to sort of allow a bit more upland buffer between the replication area and the road just to avoid any potential impacts down the road of, you know, 
anything that does happen when you have wetlands just two to three feet off of the roadway. So mm -hmm. like on, on the road then, is there going to be any sidewalks or is there any? I believe we're proposing one sidewalk. Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman, they, the planning board required us to, um, when we met with them, I, I wanted to, before we came in front of your commission, we met with them informally too. Nothing's been finally right. designed yet. We just want to let, we want to make you guys aware of the project sure. and let you know early on. Yep. So they've asked us to, from Crescent Street all the way to this point, they wanted a 28 foot wide pavement and one sidewalk. So that was the minimum they were, they were willing to accept. So that's, that's what we get. So you'll be improving the old Crescent Street Road as well? Yes, okay. that, that entrance, um, it, if you're familiar with this, it's a very sharp turn. Like if you were coming from this direction, it's yeah, a super make sharp that turn to go back in. <laughs> so they asked us, it's hard to see at this scale, but they, we put it like a curve in here, a proposed curve that they asked us to put in. And then we had like a full intersection designed here, but they asked us not to do that, just continue it as a roadway like this. And that brought everything further away from this gentleman's house here. The, the closest about it to our project. What's that area just below, on the opposite side of where the replication area is? Yeah, they, I was going to ask about the three spaces. Of oh, the what, right now, so yeah. we're proposing a, a if, so this is going to be stormwater controls. This is storm infiltration basin for the stormwater in this area. And is that the same for the other two? Yeah, that's yeah. The, these Audio here. Shape, shape. This will be an infiltration basin because the soil is <clears> really good here. And surprisingly enough, you, enough, you pop across the the wetlands and the soil is not quite as good. So we won't be infiltrating here. That's why this is going to be a little bit larger, but this is going to be a detention basin instead of an infiltration. So the drainage will go down there. Yeah, it all, it's also we'll be collecting all of this, um, the drainage, infiltrating here, detaining. This is infiltration, this is infiltration. These will be detaining and the, the amount of water, it's going to be a, a net decrease in the amount of runoff in the rate of runoff into the uh, wetland system. We'll collect the detained slowly meter into the wetland in, in accordance with the uh, stormwater management policy. Could you explain to me again, please, what those two little green things are right there? What are you going to do? These here? Yeah. These are little areas of upland. Is that, that's, that's correct. correct. That's correct. So, yeah. so, yeah, you can see where we chose to go through here. We went through this little peninsula of upland and came through to this peninsula and then cross that so we got the absolute shortest the least amount of impact right and a portion uh, of that road is located within an existing cart path so that does collect water and was included in that wetland system so yeah again at this scale it's difficult to see but there's a cart path that crosses right through here as well so now will they are you thinking of connection between both sides somehow like underneath the road. Like a hydrologic connection yeah, underneath yeah. the crossing. Oh, a absolutely. Yeah. yeah, we will have to absolutely have some type of culvert. It's, it's probably going to be some type of similar culvert to what we just did on another project. I mean, uh, conceptually, you know. How high is the elevation for hmm. the crossing? How much? It hasn't been really. I mean, roughly, I'm, I'm just. Yeah. Hasn't right now, been, you're creating an island in. Hmm. This wildlife corridor is either side trying to get to no ponds. So I'm just trying right. to and that's all of a sudden not make it a block. That's so somewhere in here we're going to have to have an opening to access through there. Mm -hmm. um, right now what what we need <coughs> to do, since we can't drain the water in the into the wetland because then we have no nothing that, there's nothing we can do here <laughs> stormwater management wise. Right. So unfortunately we have to have some kind of high point here to drain back in both directions. So right now, um, in, in that may, we may be able to play with that a little bit to get it down, but it's approximately about eight feet high right in the middle in the worst. Slope sites, or are you doing walls? Well, right now we're doing walls to minimize the impact. If we slope it, it's gonna extend quite a bit more out right. into the wetlands. So right. we'll be doing right. a block wall and then having the required opening for- We do an uh, open box culvert. So that right, I'm also thinking of the amount of deer that are all of a sudden going to be crossing that road on a regular deer basis. Deer through the culvert. I've got 18 <laughs> in my backyard that have been there all winter. It's unbelievable. It's, I live it's, in East Bridgewater. Only getting more, it's not better. Yeah. I live in East Bridgewater, and I haven't seen, never seen as many deer. Yeah, in life it's insane. And they took out three big bucks in hunting season, and it didn't help. <laughs> yeah. 
We had eight dead. I have a fenced area around that's my that's pool. That's pool. It's about a quarter of an acre of the backyard. Eight deer oh, inside the go. fence. They hop over. I've been an eight foot electric fence to keep them out of my garden. <laughs> oh, no. See, he's going to bring yeah. that up. It's, it's they stayed out, but it's a challenge. It's a challenge to look at on the house. But yeah, right so now just, he's just sort of can we get yeah. back to the getting basics? a feeling. Yeah. How is it we allow a road to go through the wetlands? Uh, <laughs> that's a permitted, a lot. That's an allowable use because we can't deny them access to get to their property in the back. But as long as they can replicate it, right? Yeah. So compensate for the disturbance, they're allowed to gain access to the back side of it. Right. So we're going to be creating more wetlands than we're impacting. That blue area. I mean, it'll all be marked, Carol, when they, as they develop it. Yeah, it's, it's basically, it's you have to allow them to get to that property, use of that property. Is this open for future? The, the planning board requires us to have a, this is just a right of way, so this is just lines on mm -hmm. paper. The roadway, uh, they actually, they asked, asked us to truncate the road right there. So, um, in case whoever wrote, we do not control this piece, another entity owns this piece, and mm -hmm. they ever want to go back there and develop it, okay. they have a way to get out. I believe it's completely lit, um, and locked, okay. or, or locked by what? <clears throat> yeah, so. Is there also sidewalks in the cul-de-sac neighborhood? Too? They they ask for one sidewalk everywhere. Okay. So there'll be there'll be one sidewalk throughout the entire subdivision. Um, okay, so and in the past, you've asked for um, conservation easements mm -hmm. on developments like this. Um, would that be something you'd entertain as a possible? What, what, what? Absolutely, we'd entertain it, but I don't know what it is, exactly what you're asking for. What just the easement, easement to be able to it access. Just, yeah, I can give you some easement. examples. It's absolutely. more for restriction, just so that the neighborhood and the homeowners know sure. that. There's limited use of what oh, can yeah. you put so, that so basically your, something yeah. so basically putting something up to make these people aware where that fifty foot buffer is on. Like yeah. on land post well, well, on the yeah. deeds yep. of the deeds, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we'd Definitely. be coming into um to this commission with a notice of intent to build this roadway and then yeah. every individual house would also be coming right. in. Right. Uh anything that was within a hundred feet of wetlands. So right. either way we'd be happy to to do exactly what the commission wants as far as that's concerned. So, do, being with the lots, I know this might not have anything to do with anything right now, but we were talking about the lot sizes, the configuration of the lot sizes, instead, you know, we, we have a, what's it called? Uh, Tim and not, no, or no. A shape, a shape factor, we've, we've got yeah. the shape factor here. Okay, and then, I know when land post went in, and this wasn't an effect yet, but I think it's what every three feet, every three foot you go up, you got to go out a foot. Right, depending on how the developments go in and For the, what the soils are, there are some restrictions on how much fill can be done yeah. and how much sloping. Just for storm, it's on the stormwater side of things. Okay. Um, so depending on how it it plays out, that maybe. A few lots that have to have a little different grading or maybe more fill or something comes yes, through. But again, it's preliminary. This is the yeah, main yeah, part yeah. of it. And that's why we're talking so that they yeah. know just what so we're looking idea. for. And no, this is perfect. This it's is just so it prevents the humping yeah. Yeah. Just right. the lots. Yeah. And I guess a question for you all, and I don't know if you went through this at planning board, but in regard to stormwater, is that something from the commission's perspective? Would you send that to peer review? Would you coordinate with planning board? Or a stormwater committee? Yeah, we'd probably go out to review. Probably but we do coordinate it. We we try to not have everybody using different engine yeah. engineers. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. We understand how that yeah. works. It's <laughs> not a um Nobody drainage better. is not an exact science. No. And every yeah. reviewer looks at it differently. Yeah. So yes. we have no problem meeting whatever requirements they have, but if one reviewer from planning board is asking us to do one thing, you have reviewer may very well ask us to yeah. do the opposite. Right. So it gets you find a compromise. Yeah. Somehow. So if yeah. it's the same reviewer, it really, really helps. And they're all right. They're not it's right. not like yeah. one is right and one is wrong. It's just yeah. a different way of looking at it. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So, yeah. 
is that's it for now and we'll just come up with it. we'll we'll deal yeah, with the uh, lot sizes and all that stuff yeah when uh, you get further along when that further happens yeah did they but conceptually it's okay. yeah. what was your biggest challenge in in uh, meeting the uh, wetland and the stormwater uh, regulations in this project the biggest challenge is um, for for me, I've been doing. I, next week is going to be my thirty fifth year. I'm, I'm I'm ashamed to say doing this, but the hardest it, it may be. It's hard to explain, but by far the hardest part is the grading of the of the site. So everything you need to get everything to grade properly, so then you can handle the stormwater management right. correctly. You can't make things go up. You can't make water go uphill. So it looks like a bunch of lines on a plan, but it was literally a couple of weeks worth of work just to set that out. Well, yeah, you got, particularly exactly when you have a butters who are exactly. really concerned about it. No, and that. we yeah. have to make sure that nothing is going on to the budding right. property and right. everything going into the wetlands is at a lesser rate than what is where it's going exactly. now. So, yeah. It's pretty uh, interesting. It's, it's the grading part of it. That, um, it, all, it there's so many different variables that come yeah. in. It's hard to say what's the most difficult, but in general, uh, when I see uh, like a young engineer come into our company, they have the most difficulty with the grading of it. Well, if you can't, now you model it, right? 100%. Yeah, in the old days, the draft boards. Yes, I, <laughs> believe me, I was around. <laughs> me too. <laughs> we'll see on the mechanical side of things. But hey, can you make this change for me? Sure, two weeks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll tell you, with some of those drafts people, it was like a work of art when, oh. when the plan was done now. It was yeah. amazing. Yeah. I admit I was eavesdropping and you asked Claire something about the ratio. The ratio. Yes. Yeah. Well, one of the things we wanted to see what type of uh, replication ratio the, the board typically likes. And so I you, apologize. I just, sure. just haven't done much work. And the answer is... So Claire, you already said that's more than a one-to-one. -one. Yeah, that's sort of a uh, I mean, it's, a, it's an yeah, area it's very... in which we can do it, and we can even expand on that. But we we feel if, if you guys tell us what you want to see for a ratio, that's what we'll be. And in the clear was explaining to me that the Army Corps was coming out with new regulations for replication. Correct. Right. So and so they you know they could ask for more than what the commission would require. They could ask for less, but we want to get feedback from you all first. And you know mm -hmm. we'll, so this you... will require a permit with Army Corps, so we will be <clears throat> intending to meet with and them. And the reason for that is the with the Army. The reason for permitting with Army Corps. Yeah. Uh, since the wetland impacts would be greater than five thousand square feet, that requires a. Uh, Pre-construction notification okay. permit with Army Corps. Oh, because, okay. of, because of the building of the. Because of, of the, what? Because of the building of the, the passing over the, the wetlands. Road. Exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah. So with Army Corps, if you're greater than five thousand square feet of wetland impacts, I mean, among other thresholds that you could trigger, that's the one that gets you into permitting with them. If it's less than five thousand, you just send them a two-page form. Okay. So the good news is, whatever this board wants, we're going to give you. If Army Corps asks for more, you're going to get more than what you <laughs> asked for. <laughs> On the replication okay. plan, for me, myself, I'd rather like to see whether it's automatically two to one, if it's possible. In the area that you can do it, if you can do it, that's what I'd like to extend the long there. Because <laughs> yeah, <that's coughs> I'm not trying to say you can't do what you're doing because you have the right to do it. But for being able to do that, we'd like to have a little more like to say a little more something to show for it. Mm -hmm. So two to one is my personally I'd like to see two to one on the stuff that gets replicated. If that's possible, if you can do that. And if not, uh, sort of I mean, explain why we can't and Yeah, and myself, but I also gotta ask the other the rest of the board if that's what they look fair. forward to or yes. would like to see. I don't know. And then obviously if Army Corps would say, hey, do more than that, then you get more than that, obviously. But is that something that you guys, yeah. not, just, I'm not just I like two it. to one. So, I mean, if it's possible to do two to one, that would be great to see. Yeah, and then we can look at what we can the requirement's one to one. Right? 
or the four. Yeah. The state requirements one to one, and if I understand your bylaw correctly, it, it's obviously minimum one to one, and it's up to the discretion of the commission. Yeah. To we yeah. just that. finished one where we uh, wanted we just one and a half, one. Yeah. and they can yeah. do it. So. And I think like what you mentioned, Claire, earlier about the proximity of the replication to the road, I'm not really sure that that's so much an issue considering the rest of the wetlands all the way right up against the road, okay. per se. So I'm not sure that that really yeah. impacts. Mm -hmm. I think we can just continue to stretch along that. Yeah. Lee, why do you like two to one? You know, I'd just like to see a little bit more done for something being Messed up. taken from us. You could ask. But not in a way of because it's yeah. your right to do it because it's your property. But you ask if you can you're looking do to do something. So, I mean, we're trying to help protect a lot more than we can. So. And okay. We'll see when the. Uh, but I also noticed, like with the the house, the lots. Where's the fifty foot going to? Like the top part of that in the back. Uh, in these lots here. Nope. The, over in the big area. Yeah, this one here. Yeah. Where's the fifty foot? So the fifty foot is just this more solid line, and this is an isolated wetland mm -hmm. here. So it bumps around the isolated wetland, comes back here, and sort of hugs this detention basin. So those lots are kind of. From what I can see, choppy looking. Mm -hmm. um, so Al, just to so Al has a gentleman who does his survey, but he also does the lot layouts and he does the septic system, the PE and a PLS, and he uh, has laid out a house and graded it septic system on every lot, and they they work well with all the. Uh, side, front side, rear setbacks, and they're all out. Every, all the work is outside the 50 foot. But I'm talking about the lot itself. If that's what, the house lot itself. That's what I'm talking about, too. So, on every one of these lots, he's laid out a house. Yeah. Right. But I think so. Is, is the property going, going? Is like, I so if these the people are going to say, I can mow the lot. Saying, like, if this is like, if this is lot, whatever, 12, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. That the. So lot the usable space, the usable all space in that spot, lot, yes, all the right. way up to here. Right. So then, so absolutely, whoever buys this house has to understand that, you know, you or can't, you we can't can get past just that. cut oh, it off right. Right. instead yeah. of this yeah. chopping. Say, right, cut it right to the straight. Yeah. So he's saying, like, well, cut this and say lot twelve is actually this big, and you don't get to buy the yeah. wetland. Well, someone has to own it. It right, is, right. This that's why we're finding that, the, that, that's this, what we're trying restrictions to, on it. This lot for this, for this benefit house. Right. So yeah. often they want to shed a pool right. or backyard yeah. in the lawn. Somebody has to own the it's, land, so typically you just extend But I'm just trying to say is like, yeah. okay, this is a buildable lot, but if this is all you have for this lot, certain square feet that you can use out of this 30,000, say you can only use 20,000, it's not a buildable lot. Every one of these lots it meets all of the zoning requirements, right. and we've laid out a it's, house yeah. driveway. It's buildable so versus the size of the house, and I it's buildable, too. but how right. much they get to use out of that is so a, yeah. Is so we can put we can put up signage at the fifty foot buffer saying that they're about you know because I mean I'm just saying like you there. get these people that come in that we've had had this happen before because it's. <coughs> With no individual ones, signage. There will be They'll just come out clear that they're going. Like, absolutely. Like, we're absolutely Lamp -post happy. Seems seems to have when we come well. in with yeah. each of these individual yeah. ones, we're happy to put we'll up the signage to let people know. Over there. Yeah, yeah uh, those, I will say that it's good that because it, they need to be in there because I know like a lamppost, there's some backyards or side, there's like, there's the house, here's a line right there. It's like, what? I mean, some people are like, how can you do that? But it's a building lot. But you got to make sure that the but the, all the markers are up there and all the yeah. buyers bought them with yeah. the markers right. there. Yeah. And the yeah. restrictions are already on the property, so right. it's all known. It's, it's all you all can do. It's, right. it's and it's Those just like any house, any lot that's yeah. been here at uh, 150 years. It's got wetlands on it. If the people find out, <laughs> the people want to put a pool, they have to go get somebody to, to um, you know go flag the wetlands line and go through the whole. So say there, if just you, like any other when you start, I don't know if you already get the layout for the fill and the how much you're gonna bring in already. Yes. Do you know that already? Do you know everything on the how much for the He's for already these done lots? All the grading on the lots, right? This so, is well, uh, uh, yeah. Greg, yeah Greg, Greg, Greg has done all of it. It is all done. Okay. Yeah. So you okay? I think yeah. a, a 
many home buyers don't really realize about wetlands. And so they buy a piece of property and they think they could do whatever they want on their property, period. And so that's their property. But our concern is, you know. No problem. That, that's, but that's why we put yeah. like a no yeah. 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 older homes. That's homes why we do yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Just, yeah. just, just about every town. So if somebody's even that looking that at a foundation, so they sense. see that sign. Mm -hmm. And all through the building process, whether it be people working there or, or the potential edge. buyers, they know. They know there's no secrets that, oh, yeah. by the way, the signs are there yeah. before we even start the, the house. Right. I know, yeah. so, No, no, I, I, well, I we've done, <laughs> yeah, because we've learned I mean, that, that from the past. The best we I mean, do. there are violations, something but. Something on the plans yeah. required in the order of conditions, mm -hmm. and to get our certi certificate of compliance, you know, mm -hmm. Tim would have to review and make sure that they're up before you yeah. all would sign off. I on understand that. that. I'm just talking about people. Technically, <laughs> when, when they you close you on property, you can't they do talk much about that. that. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, know. I know. And I, one small comment. I did see the original plans that the planning board had at the very first meeting they looked at. And I did notice one concern. I know you have the floodplain hmm. on that. The retention pond in the cul-de-sac, originally, and I couldn't tell exactly because it wasn't the greatest <laughs> set of plans I got, where the actual floodplain was and where your grading was. It looked like the initial one had the floodplain in the grading for the pond, the retention. Yeah, and so yeah, so and, again, this is just a conceptual plan, like the like, <laughs> that's not gone, nuts and bolts yet. So yeah, so the floodplain line is this, so that we'll, we'll be pulling all that okay. up. We did, that admit, I didn't get your, your comments, but they well, relayed yes. them to me at the meeting. Okay. So we I just, will absolutely be pulling that. <laughs> that's back. why I knew it was preliminary yeah, and you're just yeah, starting it and it was it's not a good comment. It's something that I really wasn't because it's conceptual, I really wasn't thinking that along that line, so I appreciate you coming. <laughs> helps me out. Because that could change a lot. Right? Yeah. No. No? That lot's huge. We could easily. Yeah. This is I mean, it's just a matter of engineering. Yeah, I'm going to excuse myself because they have a. All they got to do is pull this all back. And again, yep. this is oversized. I, you you right got now. enough. So yeah, yeah. That's not important. We've gone to, the, to uh, enough detail to know that. Um, matter of fact, we've gone through an awful lot of detail for just the conceptual plan at this point, and Greg especially laying out every house and grading in a separate system driveway on every lot. Um, yeah, I'm not trying you know to know they all work and they work well, and there's plenty of room. I'm not trying to be Nick, you know, really picky about everything, but I am going to be picky because I don't want, I'll just come out and say it, I don't want any more than there has to be. And if there can be less because of an issue there, then it's going to be less. I mean, we just kind of, that's the way it's going to be with these new developments. Mm -hmm. We're going to be looking at it. Not saying you guys aren't doing anything good, because you guys are doing good. Um, but there are going to, sure, there'll be a little bit of changes. That's why we're here. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's why we're exactly. here. And I'm glad you guys come in yep. and be able to do this, because... Yeah, no, we don't want to come to you with a finished set of drawings and say, this is what we're doing. Yeah. We want... You know what you're saying right talk now is yeah. just to a listener yeah. taking that back. Invaluable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's huge. So, thanks for. Because, be honest, with you, I didn't think a lot of this could have happened out behind that area, just because of where it is and all the what area there is. So. But like they found out once they got past the wetlands, <laughs> there's a pretty it's, sizable uh, upland area. Yeah, that. It, it comes up pretty high, too, yeah. that back there. Yeah. It's, it's a pretty good, it's hard to see them, but the, there's a good size hill back here. Like this is, you know, 10, 15 feet high. Is there, there any, um, anything out there from like in the past, like any barns or sheds or anything like that? No, just, some, just some like fire trails, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that was a farm. It was a farm back then, but I didn't yeah, know if there, there was are anything. some sort of trenches in the wetlands, sort of directed to the stream, that yeah. are indicative of old agricultural. Yeah, the trees are pretty immature through a lot of this area too. There was so probably a lot of logging roads. Mm -hmm. But there was yeah, a, that one was of the planning board members said that they, they had quite a fire out there, oh. so that's why the growth oh, was that's kind right. of small. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So, in the house right on the corner, there is going to be tearing down. That's going to be sooner than you can say it. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was really excited. Like, I don't know, like 
Five months ago, there was an excavator sitting right next to it. Oh, we were doing test holes, yes. but no, <laughs> honestly, all we're waiting, we, we did the asbestos, we're just waiting to take the oil tanks out, and then we, that's the last thing we got to do with it before we get our permit. Mm-hmm. Although, back in the day, that would that was a nice looking house. I mean, that, sure. that yeah, couldn't have been yeah. Yeah. kept up nice and all, all just this, added to this and yeah, left that out no, front. That would have been nice. Unfortunately, it's, yeah. I think it's, uh, let it go down, that's, it's ready to come down. Me- oh, it's a mess, yeah, it's a yeah. mess, yeah. It actually, I know there's some, you know, some older. I guess it's an older house with some add-ons and yeah. You know, so. Great, thank you. All right, well, I thank guess. you very much. Thank, thank you for your time. Yeah, sure. you just all. appreciate it. We'll see you yeah, guys as it comes along. Thank you. We'll see you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, have a great night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Okay, the next one is 42 Harshon Street with a request. Uh, certificate of compliance. I recuse myself from the conversation. You can't. And vote it. Sorry. Um, I've been out to the site. Everything's in order. Everything's established. Grass is in. Been mowed a couple times. The plantings are all done. Everything looks good. Is that your house? <laughs> That's why I recuse myself. I know, I know. Myself. <laughs> okay, uh, so everything looks good then? Yep. All right, I entertain a motion to issue the certificate of compliance. Second. Motion. Second. 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 We've got a couple bills and the order conditions for 307 that we did last week. I don't have anything else. All right. Uh, I did send out in your packet a few samples for the soil mapping, which um, it's on my goal this week to send you links to the Mass Mapper GIS program that the state runs. Um, some night, if we have a slow night, we can put it on the agenda and I can throw it up on the screen and we can look at it. Okay. It is a little tricky to figure out, but once you have, uh, I use it daily. Um, and you can add extra layers to it. So you can take a look at a lot of different things at once. And it's a pretty cool tool. But I don't understand it, so I need your help. So I would appreciate the educational. I will look for a schedule coming up that we might have that's. Um, a light one. I will say next meeting at this point we only have one new hearing. It's for an RDA for sidewalks on River Street. Yay. Sidewalks, sidewalks on River Street? What? Another extension. Towards the park? Uh, from the park to Howard Street. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant. From and the it looks like the their attempt is yearly to take off a chunk to finish that. There is grant money that the town is going after to try to do South Elm Street. And that's why this Lincoln Street sidewalk project is kind of a key piece of the puzzle because then you would theoretically have a loop that almost mm-hmm. could go 106. So then I'm sure it'll come up South, South Elm Street. So, I mean, South Elm Street is what they're trying to get to go from the river. So I'm going to have down to Lincoln. some taken off my property. Jeez. But I think this is exactly like speaks to what Marilyn was talking about though. Like, yeah. And I, I'll, I'll be it. I'll admit that I don't necessarily jump on to every single building meeting, you know, mm-hmm. things like that. And maybe that's the issue. But you know, like I find these things out because I'm part of this. Right. But if you, you know, were, it was like if I wasn't, how would I know that, right? And yeah. so, you know, like I felt like I mean, even that piece of information, like I know I kind of brought up the whole like safe streets right. kind of thing, but I don't know how much that actually fit mm-hmm. onto everybody like everybody heard that but what's that mean or not and even if that little piece of information like oh the plan is of like you know there is a master ch- plan <laughs> right is- but does do the town people know and so seeing that oh well lincoln street sidewalk yes it's quote unquote free sure whatever however way you want to look at it you know but like south elm street is the next big chunk that we're looking at grant wise we're taking out chunks of river street and eventually, hopefully, that'll all be connected so you yep. could, like, actually, like, walk our town from one side to the other. Maybe people might be like, oh, okay. 
Yeah. And I don't know if there's like a clearinghouse type thing on the town website that we could put like, hey, upcoming projects. Here are some basic plans. That I know the high. I know Chris does on the highway department does have an upcoming or a project landing page, okay. but I'll mention it to him and see if. Yeah, I don't. It's just I don't know. Mm. Like, What's in the works? And Communication, I think. You know, like I think eases because. Oh, it's long. You know, like once you kind of said. You know, like hey, this is some. You know, this is a hot button issue. Like I went out and did some background research and, you know, brought myself up to speed on some of the comments and arguments that are floating around out there on social media. And, yeah. you know, I kind of feel like communication is key, you know? So like, you know, like, is this, and I know we can't necessarily specify, okay, General Warehouse, this is going to be yeah, Amazon, Amazon or this is going to be Target or the new dump or Starbucks or whatever the joke of the day is out there. But like, Hey, it's General Warehouse. You know, there is no refrigeration. There is no this. This is what that means. Anybody you know. says to me, I say it's a big dis distribution center. That's right. That's what I say. Because that's what basically it'll be. Right. But not everybody calls you. True. Or talks to you. Yeah. Right? Like, that there's a space that mm -hmm. anybody in the town, like, hey, go here. You know, if we're out there on social media, we put the link, go here. Here's Giving the it. feedback, which I will take back to the town planner tomorrow, that... I know she's just getting up to speed and doesn't really have a presence yet, but maybe that's a clearinghouse where some of these projects yep. could be put out there that, I mean, and I, I do know that it's on their list to do the master plan update because that hasn't been done. I think it's older than the open space plan. Oh, wow. So it, it does need to be looked at. Yep. But like you said, if it was where everybody seems to be going just to the Facebook, right? That should information. not be the and source of information, right? Oh, yeah. And that's pretty water hub. Yeah, it, but it's, it's not. I know, I know. But it could. I mean, rumors start there, right? And you're not getting all the truths, yeah. and you're not getting so. Again, if there was a town spot where you could at least go and say, "What are they thinking about? Or what's yep. the plan?" Yep. You know, it's not. I mean, Tim's not contributing to West Virginia. Chris isn't contributing yeah. to West. You know, so it's not like town officials putting something out there on the hub saying, "Here's the plan," right? It's speculation. Yeah. And then that just becomes incendiary, and you get all sorts of. It was because even like with that yeah. Question. The, yep. Any thought? Has anybody thought about putting anything on the high school, the board on the um, one hundred six on the high school board? You know, not everybody goes by the town hall on North Main, and I agree with you on the Facebook that there's not, you know, there's PSA and everything on Facebook. But what about even just putting a link on the high school board where one hundred six has traveled so much? I don't think they allow everything. Would, you know, who would you address that to? Well, that would be the school committee, yeah. right? Yeah. That would be school. And I don't know if they... Right, but the, the town can request that the Degree. school yeah. put that... If, if there is something that needs... If, if it's a pretty big thing coming up, I would... And I mean, I, I will admit, the, the signs that went on to 106 for the construction project... Um, and we... That was we, weird. Well, part of the problem was we've Damn. been asking for the last three weeks for them to update the messaging. Right. Oh, yeah. And we finally got them last Friday to consent and to, to actually go change it, that heavy construction is going to start on 5-8. Right. Well, it was it, weird because I'm like, you know, knowing kind of the breadth of the project, I could not understand why the first sign was at the beginning of the Shell Station saying yes. 331, and the second sign was at the other end of the Shell Station saying 331 going, wait a minute, this goes all the way down to West Street. You know, it's like, what yeah. phase of this is 331? Yeah. And the only thing, you know, and the only thing I saw happening was silt fences in the field in the back. And I was like, that doesn't make they, sense. They thought they were going to be starting faster than what they did um, on any phase Sorry. of up to now. Right. Um, and part That's of right. the problem in, is that Mass DOT, and I don't even know whether they fully have given them the green light for the 106 lights and that whole part of the project and so until they got all their permitting for that they couldn't jump full speed sure and it just so, didn't make sense the, the placement of those two signs because it was like start and end yeah and i'm like this is going way further so you know now having the message board way down by north elm and 106 coming hey, west this way 106 saying hey you know and then the right. other one that kind of makes a little more sense now like okay now we're at the boundaries or Right, but they, the intent was to try to let people know that if you're going to go yeah. from the Hockamock Plaza yeah. west, it's going to be traffic. Yeah. And if you're going off the highway, 
east, right. you're going to have traffic. I mean, it was... But the original, yeah, the original signage just did not make sense. It was start and end like 100 feet later. And I'm like, well, maybe this is just for pushing Shell Station back or whatever they're doing. Yeah. I yeah. didn't. So. It'll become, I'm not going to be a lot of people happy, but... Um, I'm going to get off. And I will often. fill you in because I know, I know people are watching this. The, yeah. the Shell Station is in the process of updating <clears throat> that. And they're looking at pushing everything further on the road, putting in a new building and a new pumps. And so that means everything's so. going to be taken down and pushed back. So that construction along that section of 106 will be yeah. Crazy. a while. Fun. It's, I mean, between yep. the apartment buildings going up and the lights going in and everything else, it's, it's going to be life for a while. Just like just like the center was when they had yeah. it all refigured. It'll eventually get done, but yeah. All right, well, that's it. Cool. I'll, uh, motion to adjourn. I oh, entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.